That's fine. I'm just getting the audio levels and whatnot all set up. Ah, damn it. <laughs> That's fine. Just do your thing. She ain't gonna hurt me. Unless she plans on going for the throat. Well, she does have claws that need to be clipped. Okay, Dad. Just a warning you. Hey, no! I sure am glad I'm not recording this. <laughs> I'm sure glad you're not either. Well, actually, I am. It's just it's going to hit the cutting room floor. You guys are never going to see this. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, guys. Welcome back to another tutorial video. I know my green screen is not down. You're probably thinking, what the hell? But anyway, let me explain. Um, over the last couple of days or so, a lot of people have been asking me to do a tutorial on uh, using OBS. I did one uh, about two i think it was about a year ago year and a half ago about how to use xsplit and well xsplit really hasn't changed granted it's updated itself it's modified itself it's changed itself but nothing has really happened with xsplit so there's no point in doing an update for obs uh, for xsplit however for obs now there's two types of obs you have got uh the the standard obs studio in fact, I'm even going to show you the, the website real quick. Bam. You've got the old school classic OBS, and now you've got one called OBS Studio. Now, let me explain. This is the classic OBS. Okay? It's simple. Uh, this, this tutorial will be only on the classic OBS. I'll be doing another video on the OBS Studio to the point where you're actually watching me during this video download OBS Studios on the gaming PC, of course. Well, anyway. This is OBS or Open Broadcast Software. It is completely free. You can download it at obs.com. Links will be in the video description. Now, when you first get this software, it's not gonna be something that's automatically gonna set itself up and, and you're, you're off to the races. That's not how it works. Pretty much what you're gonna have to do is first things first, make sure that your microphone is plugged in, make sure that your webcam is plugged in, Make sure your speakers are plugged in. You just make sure that your computer is ready, that your drivers are all up to date on everything before you even click the, 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 the icon to start the application. Once you do that, you'll be granted with something very similar to this. You won't have these two options here in the sources. You'll just have scenes, okay? And then to create a source, you'll just right click. For example, let's just start a new scene, shall we? Woo, toot. There we go. So you'll end up with something like this, a blank screen. Okay, now you can hit preview, and all you're gonna get is a blank screen. Nothing's gonna happen. Now, of course, your microphone, which you see here, won't be there. That won't be there. You will still have to go into your settings and set that up. So you have to click on settings, general, just check all this, encoding. Now, this is where you're gonna have to pay attention. I'm not going to go into the differences between bit rates or anything else. I'm just going to tell you for simplicity, okay? You will want the encoder to be X264. Don't bother with NVIDIA in, in, in VEC or anything else unless you've got an, a dedicated NVIDIA card just for encoding, like you've got two cards, okay? If you have an APU, like you're using a laptop, don't bother. If you're running an AMD graphics card, don't bother. If you are running anything that's not NVIDIA, don't bother. Only activate that if you're running an NVIDIA card that is 9 series or higher. So, you know, 950, 960, 970, 980, you know, 1050, 1060, 1080, you know, great. Anything less than that, don't bother. Okay, you're going to literally bring your stream down to like four or five frames a second. Nobody wants that. Okay, so just trust me. Hop on over to the X264 encoder. Now, if you're running an AMD processor like I am here on this machine okay you might have some issues with it so if you do just make sure that you've got CBR constant bit rate make sure that's enabled and enable constant bit rate padding make sure they're done now click on the maximum bit rate do not go any higher than 3500 if you do twitch won't accept your stream if it's higher than three that's 3.5 megabytes okay so if you upload if you've only and that's nothing go please go to speedtest.net okay go to speedtest.net now again 
don't worry about my IP or anything else. I'm using you know various subnets and whatnot. But go to speedtest.net, do a simple test. Okay, I'm gonna do this off off camera and whatnot because I've got to turn my my proxies and whatnot off. And I'm using a proxy right this second. So make sure you find out what your maximum upload is and half it. Okay, flat out half it. If you've got 10 megs, half it to five. If you've got five megs, half it to 2.5. Now, the reason why I say that is because your game, your online game that you're playing is going to use bandwidth. Okay, it's gonna use that bandwidth. There's no point in saying, oh, I've got a, you know, a bajillion, bajillion megabytes, you know, upload. I'll just set it for a bajillion, bajillion megabytes. It's not how it's gonna work. Your game that you're playing, your online game, you're gonna have like 300, 400, 500 ping. It's gonna be unplayable. Especially if it's a first person shooter, you'll be dead before you even see the enemy. Okay? If you're in if it's an MMO where where and you're a healer, where ping counts, trust me, my wife will attest to that. Where ping counts, don't do that. Okay? Always half it. Half, 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 half it. Okay? Now always half it. Always, always, always. Now I'm gonna be editing out my put information there, but as you can see on this test using a proxy i've got 100 by 100 6 ms ping okay so we now know that i've got 100 megs but clearly twitch doesn't like anything about 3.5 so i'm safe putting 3500 bits if your internet is not as strong as mine okay if your internet is nowhere near as good as mine okay don't be ashamed of putting a thousand that's one megabyte okay if you're using dial up don't even bother streaming okay but if you are using like a, a dsl or cable even then don't even think about streaming if you've got a really good internet package okay and i'm looking at you time warner stop fucking people but if you've got a really good internet package 2000 to 2500 is the standard bit rate okay standard okay i stream at seven to uh, i i stream um, I play my games at, at, at 1080p, but I, I live stream on YouTube Gaming and Twitch at 720 at 60 frames per second. That's what my rig can do. Now, my rig is set up with dual PCs. I use a capture card. I'm actually capturing this screen and this OBS on a completely different PC. This webcam, this microphone is on a completely different PC. Okay, I'm actually recording OBS with OBS. OBS Inception. But that's what I'm doing. Now, I set mine... For 3500 now twitch usually can piss moans and complains about that but if you're using a pro, pro, a, a, a website like restream.io uh hitbox handles 3500 easy youtube handles 3500 easy but twitch of all freaking websites twitch has a hard time handling 3500 so what i tend to do if i plan on restreaming to multiple platforms i leave it at three megs which is 3000 bit kb okay done then check your brook Yes, click apply then check your broadcast settings I'm not going to show you my stream key or anything else but this is where you would pick where you want to stream whether it be twitch or whatever they've got you know daily motion YouTube hitbox whatever okay this is where you pick your service I'm gonna sneeze and we're back sorry about that guys had to sneeze so this is where you would pick your service please make sure the auto reconnect is enabled just trust me on this because you don't know whether or not you've been kicked due to high ping or, or, or just because your subnet that you're connecting to always pick the closest subnet to you okay for me it's San Francisco okay not Seattle it's San Francisco because that will also determine your latency between what the stream sees and what you see I if someone in my stream chat says hi Cobra and my latency is set for 20 minutes it'll like, like really really bad He's not even going to see me sitting in the chair to say hello to me. He's just going to see an empty chair and bugger off. You see what I'm saying? Because of the the, 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 the delay, the, 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 the actual streaming delay. YouTube Gaming has a stream delay of less than five. I think it's like less, less than that, less than five uh, uh, seconds. Uh, hitbox, you can actually configure your hitbox to have no stream delay. I don't suggest you do that because it's a pain in the ass. Uh, but uh, uh, even Twitch partners have a mandatory delay of 15 to 30 seconds. It's mandatory. It's what Twitch's servers do to stop the ingress of view bots and things like that. It's part of Twitch. There's nothing you can do about that. Now, 
uh, don't worry about the estimated replay buffers or anything else or blah 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 just make sure you got auto reconnect on that's it okay then go to video this is where you would put in your screen resolution first you pick your video adapter if you've got multiple adapters like you're running sli or crossfire pick your adapter okay pick your graphics card adapter is a graphics card pick your graphics card reason being is because this is where you will choose what graphics card is doing all the grunt work for example if you're running two graphics cards you can actually offset all the encoding to the second graphics card while using your main graphics card to do all the gaming if you don't have a capture card that's what you can do so set your graphics to adapter then do a base resolution which is what your native resolution is don't worry you're not going to be streaming at that resolution then it tells you your aspect ratio 16 by 9 now resolution downscale this is what it will stream your resolution at you can put none which means i will be streaming at 1080 directly to hitbox to game youtube gaming to to twitch to wherever or you can pick 720 you know you can pick typical resolutions that people will, will will look at the lower the resolution doesn't necessarily mean the less bandwidth you're using i know this is a common misconception that most people don't seem to understand i've seen people try to stream at 640 by 360 okay or, or on like one meg upload and still not stream because they seem to think that oh i'll just stream at a lower downscale it's not how it works okay I stream at 1280 by 720 it's perfectly viewable on things like smartphones you know most smartphones they turn them sideways bloop you know ta-da perfect resolution because it's 16 by 9 most people on tablets 16 by 9 most people on PCs 16 by 9 16 by 9 is the average uh, across all internet users mono aspect ratios that's why i picked 1280 by 720 because 720 is still 16 by 9 okay and it's still high definition without it eating all your bandwidth there you go you're welcome this is where you can set your desired frames per second i set mine at 60 which means my encoder on my other pc that i have over here so i keep looking over here is doing all the grunt work so my capture card captures it at 30 my encoder pushes it up to 60 so you guys get to see 60 fps in your little web browser okay that's what i do but if you can't push that leave it at 30 30 is the minimum i accept for any streaming quality reason being is i like to put on a quality show i like to put on a quality stream i like to have just flat out quality okay however you could even go as high as 200 but you'd kill your graphics card your encoder and everything else that's not what you want okay 30 to 60. don't bother with the whole cinematic 24 shit just don't okay if you do you're cancer okay you're fucking cancer your aids infused cancer okay get rid of that shit 30 second 30 frames per, per second minimum or gtfo okay plain and simple i it's stock set at 30 i set mine at 60. now click apply audio this is where you will pick your speakers and your microphone now as you can see multiples to choose from i can choose my monitors if i really want to but i don't i'm just going to use it on stick it to default now the reason why i'm going to stick it on default is because i use a mixer this is the mixer i use okay it is just called voice meter you can download it for free okay and then i set playback devices voice meter as my default device default so ego my obs is now using my mixer okay for audio which means i can run separate microphones if i have a guest for a podcast I can choose, you know, equalizations. If, if the bass is too low, I can bump the bass up. If the mid's too twingy, twingy, I can lower it. Like I said, I leave it at default. Microphone, I've got it set. You can use your webcam microphone, not that I suggest you do, but I've got mine set up for my straightforward high definition microphone. Click apply. 
Now hotkeys. This is where if you're running multiple keyboards like I am, it's just so much easier to set up. For example, you can set your start your stream up for F5, stop your stream, F6. Start recording, F12, stop recording, F12. So basically press F12 once, you start recording, press it again, you stop. That's how it works, so you can apply. Now again, you don't have to hit these. Now, if you're playing an MMO that uses the F keys and you're streaming, don't use F keys, okay? Uh, uh, use the number pad keys or something like that, or, 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 or better yet, I've even some pe seen some people use a game controller, literally a game controller. They will set it up so that A is start, A is stop. So they take the pad, put it down, and know that whatever key they hit on their keyboard while in game, it's not going to fuck up with their string. Okay. Now again, that may be your cup of tea. That may not be your cup of tea. It's entirely up to you. Now under the advanced, this is where you get to tweak your encoding settings so it's easier on your CPU, so it's easier on everything else. Now. Please make sure that use multi-thread optimizations is on and set up your process your, your process priority to normal. Don't push it above, push it to above normal. Same buffer time to set milliseconds, leave it at 700. Disable encoding while previewing. Uh, uh, turn that off. If it's on, turn it off. Allow other modifiers on hotkeys. Again, remember we telling you about while you're playing your 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 games, you know, and you've got your, your stream your stream set to F5. If you turn that off, pressing F5 in game will not affect your OBS, which defeats the point of having a fucking hotkey, then, doesn't it? So, uh, now this is where you're going to have to suit your CPU preset to what processor you're using. For example, ultra fast. Do not have that unless you've got the current gen i7. Okay, not an i5 or an i3, current gen i7. Okay, I'm talking x99 platform. Okay, just don't. If you try and use ultra fast, super fast, you know, stuff like that, you will kill a lesser processor. I mean, it, it, it will just ramp up, ramp up, ramp up, ramp up, and you'll get high CPU usage detected. That's all you're ever going to get. And your stream is going to be up, it, up, it, up, that, it, 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 and it's not fun for anyone. Okay, just trust me on this. Now, fast or faster, faster is great to start with, and you can bump it to something like very fast later on if you realize your CPU can handle it. These, okay, but don't forget, some games are very CPU intensive. For example, World of Warcraft is CPU intensive, not GPU intensive, CPU intensive. Okay. Uh, get, and basically, MMOs are always CPU intensive, not graphics card intensive for reasons, i.e. your client, your CPU is rendering this creature, that creature, this land, that mountain, this house, that, 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 that you sometimes not your GPU. Okay, first person shooters is all offloaded to GPU. Look at uh, um, uh, Counter-Strike. Okay, um, even a 750Ti graphics card like I'm using on this rig will get you 150 to 160 frames in Counter-Strike. And yet my CPU is maybe at 8%. Uh, play World of Warcraft, my CPU is 70, 80, 90%, and my GPU is only running about 12%. Because, again, certain games work in certain ways. Uh, constant, uh, use CFR, make sure that is turned on. Don't bother with any custom uh, custom X264 encoder settings. Don't bother with any of that, simply because those are debugging uh, options. Okay, so unless you're an expert in, in knowing modifiers for X2, uh, uh, X264, just don't bother. Make sure encode four ranges off and allow 60, 61 to 120 FPS entry in video encodes. Now, if you're like me and you stream at 60 FPS, you can turn this option on. I don't need it. Okay, again, because the encoding options are on the other machine, not this one. Audio, force desktop audio to use video time straps based on audio time. This is, again, these options are all set for, for things if you're planning on recording uh, and you've got an audio delay to visual delay. Uh, if you're using a capture card, capture cards in question, some capture cards in question, like the one I use, um, if I use X Split, there is a, a notable audio delay between me shooting a gun and them hearing the gunshot in stream. So I, I, I ramp up the audio delay, I, I, sorry, I lower the audio delay, they still hear it, fight, you know, it, it's fine, 10 minutes later, really bad audio delay, now it's gone from 5 seconds to 8 seconds, blah, 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 blah. Well, you can actually preset that in OBS too. Put a smack 
to you so, so it automatically does it for you expert doesn't have that yet again there are certain features that obs has that expert doesn't and there's certain features that expert has that obs doesn't um again it's it, it's your streaming preference uh, i used to be a big expert user but i've recently gone to obs and i've not looked back obs literally suits my needs now um uh, network automatically low latency mode if you turn that on it will make your router go ape shit especially if you're running a link says or something like that it will literally make your router go ape shit i don't suggest you lose that on um bind to interface basically this is where you can pick what what if you've got multiple if, for example if you've got a uh, uh, certain uh, 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 like a gaming cat uh, I, I've actually got a killer Nick land card over there I don't use it I used to have it um, but you can associate that your uh, uh, OBS only runs the packets through that one and stuff like that again don't worry with this if you're new to streaming don't even worry about it okay just pff, leave it off I leave it set to default disable TCP and window optimization leave that alone okay you click apply uh quick sync encoder really don't worry about this leave yeah, like i said it that's for the professionals that's for like debuggers of obs and stuff like that browser don't worry about it microphone noise gate this is where you can modify your microphone's threshold levels so if you're constantly using like a hands-free option which i'm using right now you can actually set it so that it, the microphone doesn't turn on until your your volume reaches a certain decibel stuff like that that's all it is and then of course your scene switcher where you can switch using certain hotkeys which we're not really going to worry about now so now you've got obs set up in the back end that's what she said sort it out now let's hit preview it's still blank notice the 60 frames per second lower corner no drop frames preview notice this is telling you how much data uh, uh obs is using network wise not hard drive read write speeds or anything now first thing we're going to do notice you'll see that the microphone is now wiggling that's because it's detected my other microphone now what we're going to do is we're going to add something simple like a webcam so we're going to right click add video capture device this is where we're going to enter its name web cam hit enter and it's automatically going to detect your webcam or your capture card or stuff like that now i tend to just stick with basic settings on everything let just let obs show you these are your basics now if your device is 64 bit and your system doesn't have the drivers for it obs will let you know so as you see right here some devices do not have 64 bit drivers if your device is not listed try the 32 bit uh, OBS. There is a 32 and a 64. I'm running 64 because I'm running a 64 operating system. So you click OK. And ta da! Oh, look, here's my other webcam. Webcam Inception. Webcam within a webcam. Now, click Edit Scene. And you can now move said webcam. Ah, Star Trek! You know, you can now move said webcam. You can resize said webcam. Ta da! Like I said. Now, if you're a titty streamer, there's your webcam goals if you're a, a guy streamer like leafy there's your webcam leafy again not knocking leafy but let's let let's add mo a, 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 a window capture so we want to capture a window so you click window cap monitor capture we're just going to put main display like so and then now if you've got multiple monitors like i do it will list the monitors in number one two three four five now to find your monitors what monitor you're using for using multiple monitors right click okay go to display settings and see how it says what monitors what number you can always click by clicking identify this is monitor one there's monitor two so we know we want monitor one so da capture mouse cursor turned on opaque see sub region we don't want a sub region and we don't want a chroma key i'll explain what those two are in a minute so click ok oh look it's grabbed the wrong monitor it's grabbed monitor two not monitor one see it's grabbed monitor two so we can easily fix that by going right click properties monitor two 
Okay, ta-da! Now it's grabbed the right monitor. Now, because we're gonna see a constant inception with an inception. Now, but notice the webcam's gone. It's like, where's the bloody webcam, Cobra? Where did it go? Well, hold down control, either side of your keyboard, and then down arrow. Now what you've done is you've pushed the main display down in the list, which has bumped your webcam up. See? Don't forget, you still get edit scene on so we can resize the webcam. Now, this is where we're gonna to get to an area that I like to cover called overlays. An overlay is something that you're gonna put that's constantly on the screen that has like your YouTube information, your Twitter handle, your Instagram handle, your, you know, whatever information you want to show people who are watching your stream on Twitch, YouTube, etc., etc. So, I'm gonna right click, add, on the second section where it says sources, we're gonna right click, add image. Type in overlay. Now we're gonna browse for the image. So we're gonna to go to desktop. We're gonna to go to pictures. And we're gonna to go to overlays. Now, I have multiple overlays because I do multiple different things, podcasts, stuff like that. So we're just gonna pick a basic overlay, a clean basic overlay. So basic overlay, click now. As you saw, some of my overlays have an alpha color, which is green or blue or red. That's where you would click, click, click chroma key, use a select device, select the color, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But mine don't use that, so again, I'll look some of it that here in a few. Now, there you go. If you look, ta-da! There is our basic overlay. It's now right here. See, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, deceptive covers. It's that easy. Now. Bear in mind, you can no longer work on the webcam. You can't click on it because the overlay pst, covers everything. So what you can do, you just click on the webcam itself, little right there. And now you can move your webcam. Wow, life hacks, Cobra 101. There you go, guys. So that's it. Now, if you want to add fancy things like um, uh, a follower alert, you can go to certain websites like Streamlabs, Dot com. Here is Streamlabs, we're going to connect to Twitch, and it's going to connect to Twitch, go to alert box, and then it's going to give you, bless you, bless you, bless you, it wouldn't be one of my videos without the Baroness sneezing. So you right click on this Streamlabs link, right click here, add, now OBS Classic doesn't come with this. You have to download this plugin from the OBS website, or if you're using OBS Studios, it will come with this plugin. So you just click CLR browser, just type in follower, and just type in alerts, alerts, and then see where it says URL. I'm gonna go paste. Okay, and that's it. You're done. Your alerts are set. Make sure your alerts are set on the top. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna go back to here and we're gonna hit test follow. Sure you can handle me, summoner. There you go. Now you're gonna see that twice. Once because it's hooked up to that PC and then once on here, like I said. But there you go, you've set it up. You've actually set up so when someone subscribes or donates or follows, there you go. That That's pretty much it. Now, I know I'm going to get tons and tons and tons and tons of questions in the comment section. You know what? I love it. I love those questions. I will answer those questions. But there you go, my friends. That's pretty much how to set up OBS. Now, if you just want to use it for recording. Now, as you can see, with OBS Classic, the stream button is grayed out and so is the recording button. So you'd have to hit stop preview. So you see nothing. It's say not streaming or click start streaming or start recording or pew preview stream to begin and that's just it you hit start record and now I'm recording a video within a video videoception it's that easy guys it's that easy there I just recorded a simple video so if you want to record gameplay footage or, or 
have it just record your gameplay to you know, to send to say say you're playing a game like Battlefield or Call of Duty or he Heroes and Generals or just any game in general, and you get unjustly banned, and they assume that you're hacking. Well, you can now record your gameplay and send them the video evidence proving that you're not hacking. And it's that simple, guys. It's that simple, buddy fly. It's that simple. Okay? Uh, so that's how you start recording. Now, of course, when you start recording, you'll have to set up what folder you want to set your send your recordings to. This is why I have a, uh, I always have a mass uh, a media storage drive in each PC to record gameplay footage. Um, now, unfortunately, you can't have record gameplay footage without your webcam and overlays and whatnot and stuff like that. It's it's ripped right as you just saw as you set it up. Okay, um, I would really like to have an option to record just the gameplay and not the webcam or the audio. You know, like my, my old microphone audio stuff like that. Uh, but you know, hey, if wishes were our souls, we'd never be fat. I never got that saying. It's something a saying that my dad always said, but there you go. Anyway, guys, I hope this video sums up and cleared up everything. Um, I'll, if you need me to do a video just on OBS Studios, I will do a video just on OBS Studios. Oh, Chroma Keys. That's right. So we're going to go back to the preview screen real quick. Now, notice I have a green screen behind me. It's not set down or anything, so I'll set it down. Give me a second. Just like magic, the background disappears. But notice the background hasn't disappeared in our stream. Or you click edit scene, webcam. Right click on the webcam, go to properties. Now you're gonna see chroma key right here. You click use chroma key and it's automatically selected white. So, you know, but you click select green. Now, this is where you hit similarity, type in 100. Blend, zero. And as you can see, our green screen is almost gone. Now, due to lighting, i.e. I don't have my, all my lighting set up, you're not seeing it all. But now you're thinking, wait a minute. I'm seeing the green screen in this OBS, but not in the other OBS, in the actual one you're seeing. That's because OBS Studios has a better green screen filter than, than, than this OBS. But if you can play around with the settings, always pick the darker color. Uh, I find if you always pick the darker color, it tends to work out better. So now you could go over 100 on the blend and slowly but surely, see even my face is starting to disappear now because the blend's too high. So we lower it enough to get my face back. And then up the spill reduction, I believe. I leave blend at 100 and up the spill reduction. And then we'll pick a different color. See, and there you go magically the green screen has worked and so that's how you set up a green screen see like i said the green screen it also depends on your quality of your webcam the webcam i'm using here is less than i think it's like less than four megapixels as well the webcam that i'm using on the encoding pc is a, a logitech c920 best webcam in the world okay it really is logitech broke the mold when they made that webcam uh, so like I said guys, uh, quality of your webcam also matters. Now, before you guys get into the whole spiel uh, of um, what's the best, what isn't the best, it's about your budget, okay? My encoding PC uses a cardio microphone in here. Look, I'll, I'll use this webcam to show it to you, okay? Cardio microphone, okay? This was two hundred dollars. Webcam I recorded the footage on. This little bugger right here. 
got it for about 50 something cents at DI. Okay? And usually when you want to reset a green screen, you just make the lens do its thing. But like I said, this is why OBS kind of is a pain in the bum. So we're going to turn the webcam off because it's distracting. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you set up OBS. And quality does count when it comes to both webcam, microphone, headset as well. This is a headset I got from Family Dollar. I think I paid like four or five bucks for it. The headset I normally use is eBlue Cobra 707s. They're the headset, they're, they're my go-to headset. Unfortunately, my last set headset got accidentally destroyed by one of my dogs. Um, they came in, got a bit curious, got tangled up in the wires, freaked out, ran and just destroyed the headset. Not their fault, not blaming anyone. So for now, I'm using this and that little cheapy microphone that I showed you. Okay? So, first things first, if you're planning on doing streaming, like, to be your job, make sure the room that you are streaming in is well lit and is sound dampened. Okay? My office isn't because I don't have a door. I, I, I have an open door policy. Most people don't believe me when I say that, but I do, literally. There is no door. When I say I have an open door policy, I have an open door policy. But if you want to, if you want to have, if you want to call this your job and have it be your job and get donations and, and, and sponsorships and everything else, first things first, okay? Make sure that your microphone is a good quality, your webcam is a good quality. It just, again, you don't have to go with the professional $50, $60 sound deadening phone. You can use egg cartons. Think about it, you throw those suckers away. You can actually use egg cartons, guys. Egg cartons. Just take them, you can either hot snot them to the wall. If you're renting an apartment, you know, I don't know what to say. If you own your own home like I do, you can hot snot them, use uh, 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 hot glue, hot glue them to the walls. They'll absorb certain sound frequencies so that you might all get a pop filter for your microphones so that your P's don't constantly do that noise. Now, I am also a professional voice actor. So I go into soundproof booths with headsets on all the time. So my point is to you, my friend, why don't you do the right thing? Take some time, do some investment. Most people say, well, I've just spent $400 on a microphone, a headset and, and, and whatnot. Why should I use free software? You don't have to use OBS. You don't have to use anything. Like I said, some people even use shadow play. But point is, this is a guide for OBS. This video has gone on a little bit longer than it should, so I'm going to end it here, right? But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I will answer those questions as soon as I can. So um, I hope you enjoyed this, this tutorial on how to set up and use OBS. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. It shows me that you like this sort of content, and I'll do another video guide on maybe using OBS Studios if that's what you guys want. Okay, guys? So until then, don't forget, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button here on YouTube. You get notifications of when I go live on YouTube Gaming. Also on Twitch, twitch.com slash Malavictus, M-A-L-V-I-C-T-U-S. Um, and so, yeah, until then, guys, I like to end all of my videos and my streams with a stay safe. Have fun. Keep yourselves fine. Keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out. And I will see you, sexy bitches, in the next one.